I saw you first. Um, I am an out-of-province student, and I know there are many out-of-province students um, at Trent University who feel underrepresented, and they also feel like there is a lack of resources for them. Um, for example, I, as an out-of-province student, cannot get a job at Trent University. Um, so I was wondering what you both feel needs to be done to address this issue, and what you plan to do about it. Just before you guys start, I'm sorry, somebody asked me to announce something and I almost forgot. If people could keep any side chatter to a minimum, we've had some complaints about people having difficulty hearing things. Okay, go ahead, we'll start. With Megan, and then Matt. Sorry. Okay, great. I think it's actually really important that we include out of province students into the TTSA dialogue. I think for far too long they, their voices have been ignored, and I mean, not necessarily ignored, but not represented at all. Um, one of the Main point, or a point of Canada's Pre Democratic University, and a point that I personally share, is that other profit students do need to find or do need more employment on campus. Um, one of the ways we want to work with this is by working with OWSP, working with student organizations to try to get more funding for this, and offering within the TCSA, potentially if possible, more OWSP. Sorry, I'm going to cut you off, Megan. Matt? Can I get a question from Peter, please? I'm trying to. Just the, just I'm the just. student. I want to know what you think you can do to help change the position. Or the situation for Just relating jobs. to work? Jobs, everything. I mean, we're, okay. we're um, usually forgotten. Just forgotten in general? Uh, well, I think that everything uh, starts in the very first time that anyone will come to this school. And I think when an out of province or an international student will come to Trent University, the very first thing that they should be made aware of is they are now part of the Trent community and they're not just an outsider. They're not just another person and they're definitely not a cash cow. They're, they're going to be included in everything that is trend. So to start, I think they should start as soon as they get to the school. Sorry, I have to stop you. Thank you. And I had you? Yeah. Um, I sit on the executive uh, QP3908, which represents uh, TAs and contract faculty. Um, I'm a firm believer that, that uh, labor issues, um, whether whether with faculty or airmark workers or support staff are also student issues uh, and I've learned uh, um, the last couple of years that, that labor unions on, on campus and, and student unions working together can make a hell of a lot of change and I just wonder um, how you propose sort of working with labor because I believe the issues overlap but, uh, all right uh, to start I plan on working with uh, QP if elected to make sure that any disputes uh, that they have with labor, such as the one that happened earlier this year, uh, can be met and resolved. I plan on working together with uh, labor organizations and to rally, again, using my main goal here, uh, sorry, general knowledge with the students. If people know about what's going on, we can fuel them through events to be passionate about these things, to rally their support, and to help make changes with labor laws and unions. Okay, great. Thanks for asking that question. I believe that union solidarity is essential. Um, the Canadian Federation of Students has a great relationship with the Canadian Auto Workers Union, and I think that through that relationship, both of their campaigns and both of their demands have been um, more easily addressed through, through their relationships. Um, I also, I greatly supported the work that QB3908 does as a, as a member, as a director of the board. I, um, I worked with the Women's Center and with the TCSA to ensure that these voices were heard and writing a letter. I also Sorry, I have to stop you, Megan. Thank you very much, Candidate.